Yep, there we are. All right, I'm going to start. It looks like in normal mode, or I can do Iron Man or Hardcore. Iron Man is a little bit more challenging where if you, you cannot get help from other people. And Hardcore means if you die, you move all the way down to normal. So it would just be temporary and, you know. So I'm going to go ahead and stick with normal. I've never played before. I don't think I'm going to be the best ever. Um, go ahead and pick all these features. If you have anything funny you want me to add, feel free. I'm just going to try out I'm not gonna do female that would be sweet dumb choose a hairstyle um, let's see dragon variant that's cool hair prince samurai variant I'm probably going to be seeing him from the back a lot, so I should probably put it at that angle. Ooh, a mohawk. Huh. All sorts of crazy hair. That's like my hair right now. <laughs> I need a haircut. That's like the normal one. Gotta pick something interesting, right? This is a lot of opportunities. I'm used to games where you can pick like two or three. There's all sorts of different styles. <laughs> Bald version. Done all of these before. Uh, I'll stick with this one for now. And what color hair? Purple's my favorite color, but that looks just geeky. Green, that's not even a good shade of green. Willow brown. Longbow brown. It's almost like a blondish brown. This is probably pretty close. All right. Next, we choose a top. I wonder if you have to wear this though all the time or this is just a temporary thing. Missionary tunic, ranger gear, smithers, tunic and studded delt, delt, nettle jacket, Waxed tunic, cook's overalls, <laughs> that's funny, warlock doublet, archmage schmock, let's do that one, and I can choose the color of the sleeves, there we go, whoops, that's done for the whole thing. All right, legs. Ceremonial robe, cut off platoons. Shorts. <laughs> lot of, some of these look kind of silly. That one probably looks the most normal. Laborer's apron. Rumpled breeches. That's fine. Dagonoth gray. Icy mist. Abyssal black. That works. And then shoes. 
I started out with carbantines, steel toed mucklucks. Mm, I've heard of that. Cuffed brogues, tethered boots, pegged shoes. Butterfly mucklucks. Oh, these are like the, the braces on your pants. Unrefined iron. Sure, why not? All right, last facial hair. Hmm. That looks silly. Short, full. That looks funny. Hmm. They have a lot of facial hair. It's like a lot or not at all. There's no middle ground. Split beard. Oh, that looks funny. I guess we'll go with no facial hair. Doesn't have to be a color. Okay. Done. Name your character. What do you think? Mangler? Name is already taken. There we go. That's why you have Mangler 3M. What is your experience with RuneScape? Definitely never played before. Nope. Left click Reginald to talk to him. Tutorial Island. Oh. So that I'm controlling the camera here with WASD on the keyboard. And I just clicked and he moved to there. So it's a click, I guess it's a click in uh, motion. Oh, here's Reginald. Ah, a new arrival to the world of Gielinor. Welcome adventurer. When you're ready to continue your journey, open that door over there. Ah, so they're drawing a line to show me where to go. Oh, if I right click, I can say walk here or cancel. Ah, okay, so double clicking is the move, automatically moving there. Can I sit in a chair? Examine chair. A comfortable seat. Examine table. A banquet could be eaten from this. Climb up staircase. Examine staircase. I can climb up these stairs. Walk here. I don't see any stairs. Oh, there's a chest over here. Examine closed chest. It's locked. Examine large table. A nice, dirty looking table. Examine bookcase. A good source of books. Fireplace. Chop down tree. Oh, that must be outside. Open door. Now go outside and talk to your first instructor, Brina, the survival expert. Oh. 
Hello there, newcomer. My name is Brenna. I'm going to teach you about skills you need to survive. You have many skills you can train. The more you practice, the better you get. Wow, that's a lot of skills. I've got like attacking, strength, defense, ranged, prayer, magic, rune crafting, member skill, domineer, dungeoneering. I'm going to forget all these. These are constitution. That one's 10. That's probably my health. I don't mean constitution like. Oh, I can scroll real. I can use my middle scroll thing to scroll the camera. That's pretty cool. I'll tell you about wood cutting, fishing, fire making, and cooking skills. Let's start with wood cutting. Chop a tree until you get some logs in your backpack. You get some logs. Very good, let's put these logs to use. Light the logs in your backpack to make a fire. After you leave Tutorial Island, you'll be able to use your fletching skill to craft your own bows and arrows from trees. For now, right click on the log and left click light. Right click, light log. Only take a few seconds, plus 40 EXP. You made a fire and earned experience in the fire making skill. The tree was reappeared, look at that. And she does not mind that I made a fire right in front of her. I seem to not mind at all. Well done, you can cook food on a fire. If you're ever injured, eating food will help restore your health. We need something to cook. There are shrimp in the pond. Let's catch and cook some. Wherever you see bubbles in the water, there's probably good some good fishing to be had here. You catch some raw shrimp. Use raw shrimp. Examine raw shrimp. I should try cooking this. Probably have to go back to the fire, huh? Walk here. Use raw shrimp, arrow, fire. You accidentally burn the shrimp. Eat burnt shrimp. Talk to Byrena. Oh, you burnt your shrimp. Don't worry, that happens to everybody the first time. As you get more experience in cooking, you'll burn food less often. Oh good. That was by design. <laughs> so I still have burnt shrimp. Eat burnt shrimp. I guess it just doesn't go away. Maybe I need to go back and do it again. Catch some raw shrimp. Use raw shrimp, drop raw shrimp. Maybe I should try cooking it again. Hope they don't mind I chopped down another tree. Bet the fire expired, that's probably why. Light logs. You made a fire. Experience in fire making. Now let's try the shrimp again.
You successfully cooked the shrimp. Hey, I did it. Oh, well done. You've you have some food to eat whenever you feel poorly. I taught you all I can about woodcut cutting, fire making, and fishing. Open the gate, follow the path to the next area, talk to the master chef. He'll teach you more about cooking. Minimap shows the areas you're currently in. Left click a location on the minimap to travel to that location. I don't have to click like crazy. Well, a beehive. So I guess up here is the activity tracker. It's saying Talk to the master chef. There he is. Welcome, newcomer. I am the master chef, Lev or Leave. I will teach you how to cook food truly fit for a king. I already know how to cook. Brina just taught me. I'm an expert at cooking shrimp. Ha! You call that cooking? How much more likely to burn your food if you cook on a log fire out in the open? You should cook at a range whenever you can. I'm going to teach you the fine art of baking bread. The master chef gives you an empty bucket and a pot of flour. Fill the bucket with water from the sink. Use it to wet the flour into dough. Then bake the dough into bread on my range. You fill the bucket from the sink. Cook at range. You don't have any cooking ingredients. Talk to the master chef to learn how to bake bread. Use bucket of water. Cooking level 1. Materials raw turkey drumstick missing. What if I put flour here? So they have different options of things I can cook. I'm trying to make bread. Is that one of the choices? A potus, a potterosaur meat? Sounds like a dinosaur. Good, I see I have a bucket of water. Use it on the flour to wet it, then bake the dough on the range. Oh. Use bucket on pot of flour. You mix the water and flour, make the bread dough. Okay. Then you use the bread dough on the range. Done. 40 EXP. I'm rich. Nothing like the smell of freshly baked bread. Be sure to carry a little food with you on your adventures. If you're injured in combat, eating is the best way to feel better. There are all sorts of food you can cook with the right ingredients and a high enough cooking skill. Pies, cakes, stews. You can even churn cream and butter or brew your own mead. Eat bread heals 200. I only have one. Oh, one constitution. Okay. So what's my uh, health right now? I've got backpack. I've got skills. 
Activity Tracker. Combat level from combat related. Total number of levels across all skills. Okay. You'll be a master before you know it. Now off to the next area with you. Okay. We're drawing a walkway to this door, so I'm going to open the door. Follow the path to the home of the quest guide. And I walk. Talk to the quest guide. Ah, welcome adventurer. I'm here to tell you about quests. Let's start by opening the quests list. Quest name is red if you've not started it. If you have started it, it will change to yellow, meaning in progress. Green when it is done. Showing 32 of 280 items. Wow, lots of fun stuff. To find the start of the quest, look for the quest item on your mini-map. You usually start the quest by talking to somebody nearby. Alright, so I see a couple quests on my mini-map, or at least a couple things on it. Quests can vary greatly from collecting beads to hunting down dragons. You have to experience the thrill of questing yourself to fully understand. You may find some adventure in the cave under my house. Sounds fair. Climb down the ladder. Looks like there's a person, a mining instructor. Greetings, my name is Desik, and I'm a miner by trade. On either side of me are rocks containing tin and copper ore. Mine two tin and two copper. We're going to smelt and smith a melee weapon for you. You got tin out of the rock. Looks like I'm just slowly gaining tin. So this is like a time killer. You got tin, so now I need copper. Copper over here. Critical swing. Got one copper. There we go. I got two. Let's talk to this guy about smelting. Show You show the miner the tin and copper you got. The better pickaxe you use, the faster you'll mine. Also, the better pickaxe, the higher the mining level you'll require to wield it. So why do I want to mine ore? 
You can use your smithing skill to smelt ore into metal bars at a furnace. Then at an anvil. You smith the bars into melee weapons and armor worn by warriors. Alright. You can smelt tin and copper together to make bronze equipment. Simply deposit the ores into a furnace, forge, or anvil. Use the furnace to smelt them into a bar of metal. All right, bronze bar. Requires one copper and one tin. Looks like that's the only thing, because if I check anything else, I don't have the equipment for it. So this is brought why this is lit up. At a furnace, you can store your mined ore in your metal bank and smelt ores into bars. Left click this button to deposit the tin and copper ore in your backpack into metal bar and you, into your metal bank. Ah, so you store it and then you choose what to build and then you begin your project. And you wait. More time. Time, time, time. Alright, that was quick. Bronze bar done. You should deposit your bars into the metal bank via furnace, forge, or anvil. How do I make a weapon out of a bronze bar? When you use an anvil, you'll choose the item you want to smith, as long as you have a high enough smithing level and the correct number of bars. The higher your smithing metal level, the better quality of metal you can work. So you start off on bronze, work your way up as your smithing level increases. Start by smithing a bronze dagger at the end. Alright, so I went to... This is not the anvil. Okay. Alright, so I guess you deposit them, and then they tell you bronze bar I can take, and then what can I do with it? I can make a dagger. For stabbing. And it's the fastest speed, but it's very low damage. I'm guessing 48 is a low number. It's only two digits. Begin project. You can create an unfinished target. Your unfinished item is full heat. Bronze dagger. Now use the ammo. I wonder if this has any skill or if it's just pure luck. You finished your bronze dagger. You smith the bronze bars into a bronze dagger. I did. Excellent. Now that you have a melee weapon, you're ready to learn about combat. Talk to combat instructor level 146. Oh dear. I hope I don't have to fight him. Hi, my name's Mangler3M. To me, you're just another newcomer who thinks they're ready to fight. I am Vanaka, the greatest swordsman alive. You'll do barely any damage with your bare hands. So let's start by wielding that butter knife you're carrying. Wield bronze dagger. Now you're ready for combat. Attack a rat. You'll continue to fight each other until it's dead or you do something else. Attack Giant Rat level 3. Can I just like throw my dagger at him? Am I going to be like surrounded by everybody? No, he's attacking me. Okay.
Yeah, he's attacking me, but not hurting me too much. I got him. Now talk to the combat instructor. So nobody else is attacking me. I didn't get anything from him. Attack combat instructor. No, don't. <laughs> Well done, you've defeated your first monster. Oh dear. There's a lot more to combat, including the ranged and magic skills. You'll learn about them when you get to the mainland. For now, you're finished in this cave. Return to the surface, continue your journey. Okay. There's a skull down here. That's the guy who failed? Oh, I popped up in a totally different place. Financial advisor. How much do I owe you? Money's useful because you can buy things from the grand exchange if you don't want to craft them yourself. Gold coins are the currency of the human kingdoms. Your coins are kept in your coin pouch below the items in your backpack. You currently have zero coins. There are three basic ways to make money. Skilling, combat, and trading. Some people have work for an adventurer like you and will reward you for completing quests. Many enemies will drop items when they die. You, will, you can sell them to a general store or on the Grand Exchange in Varrock. By getting a high level in skills such as cooking, mining, smithing, or fishing, you can create or gather your own items and sell them for pure profit. You can only carry so many items in your backpack. You can deposit items when you want to keep you want to keep and not sell them into your not sell into your bank. You can access your bank from a bank booth or bank chest. Look for the bank item on your mini map. This mini map is tiny. Oh, I can make it bigger. There we go. Or the world map. Hey, withdraw coins. Are these mine? Do I just get them? Drag an item to create a new tab. View all items. Withdraw all coins. And then I'm going to put my burnt shrimp in the bank. No, I don't want to do that. I might end up just selling it, maybe. You're nearly finished. The player instructor would like to have a chat with you in the nearby church. I wonder if in the game there's like stuff I'm supposed to pick up and do all along the way. Prayer instructor. Ah, oh, I said player. Prayer instructor. Good day, brother. My name's Mangler3M. Hello, Mangler3M. I'm Brother Brace. I'm here to tell you about prayer. This is your player prayer list. Prayers boost your effectiveness in combat. As you increase your level in the prayer skill, you can unlock more prayers. Click the prayer you wish to use to activate it. Click it again to deactivate it. Right now I have Thick Skin. Increases your defense rating. Uh, 
Active prayers will drain your prayer points. You recharge your prayer points by praying at an altar usually found in a church. Whoop. That was an accident. Go back, go back, go back. There's the altar. So I prayed three times and it recharged me to ten, but then it went back down to nine. Not sure. Active prayers will drain your prayer points. Recharge your prayer points and bring an altar. Okay. Most enemies will drop bones when defeated. Pick up and bury bones to earn prayer experience. Bones. Okay. That must be an active prayer. Are there rules for how I should behave? Yes, in general, always try to be courteous to others. Remember that adventurers like yourself are real people with real feelings. If you go around being abusive or causing trouble, you will end up in you could end up in trouble. I'll keep that in mind. Open door all the way. You just use a mini map. I'm lazy. Ooh, a magic instructor. Good day, newcomer. Your journey is nearly at its end. My name is Tarova. Before you leave for the mainland, I'm going to tell you a little about magic. Let's start by opening your spell book. This is your list of spells. Casting spells increases your magic skill and consumes runes which you carry in your backpack. You create runes with the rune crafting skill. With a low magic level, you can cast only the simplest spells like airstrike. You must wield a magic weapon to cast combat spells. You'll begin your adventure in birth. Thorpe, on the kingdom of Asgarnia. The Berthope Imperial Guard need an adventurer like yourself to defend their principality from trolls invading from the north. I'm going to deactivate the protective spells around this island so you can home teleport to Berthope using the Lotus Stone network. If you ever get lost, you can freely teleport to a Lotus Stone lodestone you have discovered. Sounds like the first thing I should do is go find the lodestone so I can come back there if I want to go somewhere else. Achievement unlocked. Birth of lodestone. Click here to open the lodestone network map. I guess I have to do that. I was going to try to talk to one of these chickens, but it looks like that might not be a, a thing. Map shows the lodestones you have activated so far. Berthorpe lodestone has been activated for you. Click the lodestone to teleport there. Alright, I spun around in a circle, I did a push-up, I scratched my back, opened a book, and line goes down, and I'm off.
Berthorp. It's a happening place. Lots of random stuff going on. Talk to Turiel. Hello, and what are you after then? What do you seek? Adventure, something to kill, fortune and glory. Adventure, you've come to the right place. I'm a slayer monster. I train adventurers to seek out and defeat specific monsters. I'll identify suitable targets and assign you a quota. Berthorpe is surrounded by dangerous creatures. Are you eager to battle monsters for fun, heroism, and profit? Then Slayer is the skill for you. Trolls are the real enemy in Berthorpe. You, you'll need food and armor to survive against them. You should prepare before risking your life in combat. This is the last adventure they sent me. He fought the trolls without armor or food. Don't be him. Yikes. In combat, you'll need to eat to live. Rabbits are a good source of food. They'll make a cute noise when they die. Go kill some bunnies. What's this above his head? Does that mean that's a thing I'm supposed to do? There it is. Population control, defeat three rabbits. Ah, okay, so it's still in chat. Choose an option. Tell me about Berthorp. Uh, bunnies are cute. What's the nearest bank? I need guidance. Farewell. Um, I'll say farewell. Golden beam shines over one of your items. You receive one raw rabbit. Items in your backpack you pick up limited to 28 slots. Quick like a bunny, return to Terrell. Sorry, bunny. Well done slaying those rabbits. How do you feel? Good, ready to slay something else. I hated it, don't make me kill bunnies again. Can I kill more rabbits? That was fun. Um, ready to slay something else. That's the spirit, I have a tougher assignment for you. But you'll need melee armor and more food to take into combat. Let's get cooking. Gained five coins, hey! I'm rich. Do you want to cook meat or fish? I want to fish and cook crawfish. Nearest fishing spot is south of us. Go cook yourself fish, eat in combat.
There's a forge. Ah, I need to chop down a tree to be able to cook. That's right. Daily challenge woodcutting. Three. Earn your first level in a skill. Higher levels unlock new activities, equipment to craft, location to explore, quests to complete, much more. Did I finish my daily quest just now? I wanted to go fishing, I think. Here's the fishing. Here's the bubbles. Plus 10 XP. Plus 10 XP. Basic fishing claim a reward challenge mistress. Fishing now level 2. Catch crayfish. Oh, I have to catch 12. Okay. Nice catch. You take to fishing like a salmon to water. Talk to me if you'd like to know more about survival skills. Fishing and cooking. Make fire with me. Light logs in your backpack to make fire. Left click the raw crayfish, select it, left click on the fire to burn, to cook it, and that's to do 12 times. Crayfish, value, lots of values, let's go ahead and cook. Oh, all 12, I can do all 12 at the same time, this is great. Da, 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 da. I thought I was going to have to one by one, click, 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 click. Cooking's up to level 3. Four, level four, cooking. You successfully cooked some crayfish. I have enough food, enough resources to smith my armor. Wow, I didn't know I was going to smith armor. Crayfish is to smith armor. Hmm. That's a cow. They sent me right through this pasture. Oh, did he just kill the cow? That's mean. It is like unlimited. Enter the mine. Mine copper. Okay, so this does not look like a smith to me. Talk to Tobias Bronze Arms. No. Maybe I need to figure out my own way to the... To cooking. Because doesn't cooking need a bunch of this stuff like a furnace? Oh, this is for rocks and stuff. Oh. Well, this one's blinking. So I guess they really want me to go in. Is blinking too. It's trying to get my attention, but I didn't know that that's what I was doing. Prove your survival skills by fishing and cooking. This looks like just a bunch of daily tasks. You have to do a lot of random stuff. If you'd like to more, more about mining, feel free to ask him. 
Tobias Bronze Arms. Oh, I have to make armor, that's right. I feel like I'd be stealing it from him, but who knows? You made progress toward Tin Soldier. I say name one more. He who smelt it, smelt bronze bars in the furnace. Here's where I go and I like deposit them. Deposit all materials. Begin project. Deposit your bars into a metal bank. Ah, full helm or medium helm? They're both armor 30. Create an unfinished item, begin to heat it. Oh, because I misclicked. Okay. Your unfinished item is at full heat. Use the anvil. There we go. Quality metal work. Let's see if you're going. I see you're going to be a master smith. You finish smelting the bronze. No. Oh. Let's put this on. Path complete. Your reward's been added to your backpack. Seven bronze bars. I want to show, I want to smith a suit of melee armor. I could do a bronze plate body or a bronze chain body. Let's do the plate body. Use the anvil. All right, level two on smithing. Now I do it 25% faster. Item is becoming cooler and harder to work. Slower to work, okay. That's okay, I'm still gonna finish it. There it is. Bronze plate body. wear it. Hey, I changed clothes. Now I'm actually wearing something.
What can I make now? Miscellaneous category, bronze or box. There we go, bronze or box. Is this for storing more bronze ores with me? Part of the activities, more quests, I suppose. Bronze ore box stores 100 copper and 10 ore, and the backpack only has 28 spaces. Good idea to bring the box when you're mining. Yeah, that's great. You finished it? Alright, now they're sending me back in. I guess they're going to probably have me collect a lot more copper and tin to store in it or do more mining or more uh, construction of stuff mine three copper ore all right there's one There's two. Critical swing. And that must have been three. Now ten. This is like the never ending rock. Everybody uses it and it just keeps producing more and more and more. There looks like one. Yep. There's two. Kick the tin. I bet this will be a very punny game. And that would be it. Now they want me to make three more bronze bars. Pause it all materials. And let's make three. Back to the forge, as usual, make some bars. Ah, we can make plate legs, or plate skirt. Let's go with plate legs. And on the anvil, before it gets cold, Smithing level three. One twenty archaeology. Wow. Finish the plate legs. Path complete. Two more bronze bars given. Ah, we can fill the box. You are not able to deposit anything into your backpack into your ore box. 
But I have bronze bars here. Oh, it's ore box, not a bar box. Ah, oh, I see. All right, so I now have armor, which is what he wanted. Choose a path, way of the warrior. Prepare, prepare for battle. Venture into the domain of the trolls. You get three sandwiches. Or banking, learn how to safely store your items into the bank. Or daily challenges. You probably have to do all of them. Let's do the dailies and get those out of the way. Track, complete, turn in each of the basic daily challenges. Is that a star on the map? Nope, that's not a star. This is Weave a Loom. Oh, okay, so I can make clothes. So how do I know... Track, complete, turn in each of the basic daily challenges. Okay, so where are the basic daily challenges? Quest list? There's 413 quests. Talk to Fred the farmer in his farm north of the market. Novice, very short. The marked on your mini map. Ah, okay. It was marked on my mini map. Then it disappeared. It said north. Which way is north? Need a compass is what I need. How do I find this? North of the market. Okay, so how do I know north, south, east, and west? It's kind of important. Do I have a bigger map I can look at? World map, maybe? Low 
Coding World Map. I think it crashed it. Maybe I clicked too many times. Let's try again. World Map. There we go. The map doesn't want to show up. Maybe I haven't allowed it to gain enough information. I don't know. I need a com oh, there's is this a t tiny little compass? Aha! It is a tiny little compass. It's right here. It shows north going up if I'm going this direction. Okay. It's probably really hard for people to watch. Let's go this way. Travel is slow. This comes out to a cave. This is a troll cave. Guessing troll caves are enemies. Let's go in there while I'm here. Talk to Corporal Booth, okay? These are level ones, I believe, or they have a little one next to them. Attack level one group. Hey, I'm winning. Or somebody's helping me, one or the other. Take coins. Co coins and bo uh, bones. Bones I'm supposed to bury or something. Prayer. Introduction to prayer spell. Hey. Unlock wealth. <clears throat> All righty. All right, let's try this one. You only need to click once. Yep, thank you. Uh, oh, I thought I was hurt. There we go. So that was that. I'm a little bit hurt right now. Is somebody healing me or is that just on its own? I don't know. So now I know I could do that if that was, it looked like that wasn't one of my quests. So.
I need to figure out how to find daily quests. That's what I was really trying to do. Hey, this looks familiar. I remember the rabbits. Talk to Major Mary Rancor. I've lost my Dwarven Army Axe. There must be some fighting to do. Replay the arrival cutscene. I need guidance. Farewell. There's always trolls in the cave to the northwest. Go there, kill some if you like. So how do I go north of the town? How do I get out of here? This is like a... I'm like boxed in with all this... Maybe if I click over here, they'll figure out a way to get there. Nope. Clicked up on this hill and he... He's just getting as close to he can as he can to getting there. Alright, maybe I should skip this and remove this. Go back to... There we go, I clicked something and that led to something else. Achievement paths, track complete, turn in each of these recently completed. I have lodestone. Reach level five in cooking, hey, I could do that. Got raw fish I can cook right now. Backpack, fish, raw rabbit, raw rabbit fire, cooked rabbit. Hey, I did it. Got three of them. You accidentally burned the rabbit. Oh, I burned two of them. Ouch. Eat burnt meat? Why would I want to do that? Can I just get rid of it? Inevitable. Inedible. Drop it. Eat shrimps. Heals 200. Ooh. So how do I see what my skills level is? Right now, cooking wise, I'm fire making them only a two. Smithing them a two. These are blinking, I guess they mean those are the ones I'm allowed to use right now. Probably. New unlocks below. Oh, so they're just alerting me to what up, upping the level caused. So you make them faster. Okay. That's not that interesting. I mean, I'm sure it's useful, but knowing details like that, uh, whatever. All right, so let's see if they allow me to save progress or if it just remembers where I'm at. I guess you could just exit and it probably remembers where I'm at. And maybe if I start a new one, I'll end up right here. 
Let's try that exiting the lobby. Cool. All right. Thanks a lot. That was fun. Uh, it looks like this is a potentially interesting game. I may play this next Friday, keep this up on the Fridays. Um, thanks for joining and look forward to continuing in the future. If you want to watch on Twitch, twitch.tv slash mangler3m, um, I'm going to save some videos um, on YouTube, youtube.com slash user slash mock3m. Um, feel free to follow if you like from here or from YouTube if you want to see future ones. Um, other than that.